It's time to take what we learned in the last video and applying it to building a rocket for ourselves. Remember, we're acting as researchers and rocket scientists with the goal of building the highest flying rocket that we can. Check out this quick time lapse and some of these upcoming tips to see what this project entails. Here are some of the materials you're going to be working with. It's nothing crazy, but we do give you enough to make multiple rockets. Step number one is to choose which color paper you want your body of your rocket to be made out of, which is also called the fuselage. Grab that piece and grab a PVC pipe and roll it up so it's nice and snug. Use the strategy of rolling your hands back and forth to tighten it, but you want to make sure it's still able to slide on and off. Here's a slow motion clip of how we tightened it with our hands around that pipe. If you're smart, what you want to do is have one of these cool pieces of duct tape ready. And when you have your shape, go ahead and fasten it down using that piece. Double check to make sure it's still a good fit. And once you make sure that it is, grab some more pieces of duct tape and seal off the rest of the fuselage. We recommend going right up to the edge, but we don't suggest rolling the tape over into the inside of the rocket. We recommend stopping right about here. There's no need to go over the edge. And friends, circling back to the fit of your rocket over the pipe, why is that so important? Well, if it's too loose, then a bunch of air is going to escape through that area. And if it's too tight, it's not going to have enough force to get off the pipe. That's why balancing a nice snug fit, but still able to move is key for a successful flight. Now let's talk fins. And just to let you know, there's no wrong answer here. You could make triangular fins round fins, big fins, or little fins. It's up to you, but we do recommend staying between two and four fins that are of course evenly spaced. You can experiment with different fin placements, but we do recommend staying towards the bottom or lower half of your rocket. And that folded paper technique you saw is an interesting strategy because if you cut a piece that's folded over itself, it's going to end up giving you two identical shapes to use as wings. What we actually want to do in this case is make four fins. So we took that same folded paper, traced our old fins so they were the same size, and went ahead and cut them out, hence giving us two more. But here, we're gonna use the duct tape and you need two small pieces for each fin you're attaching. Take that piece of tape and place it half on, half off your fin. And that second half is going to be the part that attaches to your rocket's body. Remember, we're definitely favoring the lower half of the rocket so it provides stability in flight. And here's how we do the other side of the fin. Our goal is to have the fin stick straight out or perpendicular from the rocket's body. Let's go ahead and do it three more times to get those four fins we set out for. To add to the list of things to keep in mind, remember to try to keep your fins as aligned as possible. Now let's visit the nose of your rocket, which is another area you have some design freedom in. In this video, we're gonna be using a ping pong ball or a round nose for our rocket, which is a great option. All you're going to need is the included ping pong ball and some long pieces of tape to really secure it to the body of your rocket and make sure no air escapes from the top. Go ahead and give it some nice tight squeezes just to be sure and to give it a nice mold. If you want to experiment with a cone shaped nose, we have a great strategy to pass along. Step number one is you're going to want to tape a perfect circle around your roll of duct tape onto one of your pieces of cardstock and also cut out a one quarter slice of it, making it almost look like Pac-Man. The reason we have you make that Pac-Man shape is it allows you to fold it over itself, starting to resemble a cone. The more you keep twisting it, the taller and skinnier it gets, and you can do that until it starts to match the diameter of your rocket. 